So, hey guys, I am New Japan Guy. How are you doing today? I'm great. How about you? Good, good. <laughs> the weather looks nice there. Yeah, it's felt really good this week. Last week it was a little too hot, but this week it's like a, it's like high 70s with like a breeze, so it's really nice. And you're in Columbus, right? Yeah, Mississippi. Yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> I've always wanted to go to Mississippi, so. Um, oh, okay. It's not something I hear very often. <laughs> no, no, there, there's a lot of, isn't there a lot of, like, I'm a big country music fan, and there's a lot of country down there, isn't there not? Uh, yeah, um, yeah, there's <laughs> a lot of country, not as much, like, yeah, I get what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, yeah, so you got the big win over, I think it was two weeks ago now, uh, how's it, has things changed much for you since that big win in Bellator? Um, not much. Just a lot of interviews and a lot of, you know, people in my DMs, that kind of thing. But other than that, not really. Um, I am a little more motivated right now as far as training goes, but, um, but I have been since the beginning of the year. So not much. Yeah. Change. It was definitely a huge win, so definitely a big feather in your cap. Uh, did the fight go the way you wanted to it to go, or is that how you envisioned it would be? I know you said you wanted to get the finish, but are you happy with the way it went? Yeah, I'm happy with it. Um, I did wish I was able to let my hands go a little bit more. Um, yeah. You know, I just kind of, uh, that kind of went out the window. But my footwork, you know, was a lot better in that fight, even though, you may not have been able to tell, but I was, like, cutting off an her angles, so she wasn't able to run for me as much. So I was really proud of that, for sure. And, you know, the grappling and stuff I was proud of, so. Yeah, Overall. it was great. <laughs> was there a point in time where you said, hey, I'm going to get this arm bar, like, this is it? Yeah, a couple times, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> so she was just super tough, yeah. Um what I really wanted to talk to you about was the rankings for Bellator came out last week, and that's a huge feather in your cap that you're in the top 10 now. So congrats to you. It's awesome. Uh, how do you feel about that? Yeah, it's awesome. I was honestly surprised. I still don't feel like I belong there, but, you know, that's cool. <laughs> now, now, with rankings, there's always controversy with some sometimes because – for instance, Valerie Loretta is a, still ahead of you in the rankings. I don't know if you've seen that. What were your thoughts about that? Because I just found it a little bit weird. You see it a lot. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know who makes the rankings and what they, like, base it on. But, you know, I mean, there's not really any reason to get mad about it or whatever. It's, it is kind of odd, you know, that I just beat her and she's, like, above me in the rankings. Like, it would kind of make more sense if, like, she just dropped or stayed the same and I wasn't in the rankings at all. Like, that would have made more sense to me. Yeah. Um, I just found it really weird. But, yeah, it is what it is. At least I can say I'm in their, you know, rankings thing. But it is very weird. <laughs> yeah. So is so you're still young in your career, uh, three and one. Um, you wanted so you're on a two fight win streak. Is the main goal to get that title shot, or do, and do you want to work slowly towards it and get more experience, or do you uh, give me a title shot? Yeah, no, definitely gain more experience for sure. I don't think I'm ready to fight any world beaters anytime soon. Um, yeah. I definitely need to, you know, I feel like my jiu-jitsu is there, but my um, striking still needs a lot of work. And especially under that pressure, it uh, it struggles even more. So, um, so yeah, I think I have a long ways to go as far as all of that goes, for sure, before I fight, you know, an actual, like, top ten list. Exactly. It's not a race. It's, it's you got to work your way up there, right? And that's sometimes better. Yeah, for sure. Um, like, do you, and, and you're at 125, is that the division that you want to stay at, or is 135 or 115 something that you would want to float around in? Yeah, so I've always fought 115, and these past two fights have been heavier. Um, this weight cut was still um, tough, um, but it was, like, way better. <laughs> I couldn't imagine yeah. 115, <laughs> um, but I did 
you know, like fighting at this weight. So, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm going to get more experience, that kind of thing. So it's kind of a way for me to test and see like how my body reacts to all these weight cuts and things like that. So, um, but yeah, so we'll see. <laughs> Absolutely. And you're, uh, so is, have you st- talked to the Bellator since then? Like, are you signed for a couple fights through that promotion? No, that was just a one fight deal. My manager, I mean, if they put me in their rankings, I'm assuming they want me to fight for them again. Yeah. Um, but we don't know. So my manager, uh, Matt Weeble, signed with him with first round management. And uh, he's talking to them right now um, and probably just going back and forth with numbers and that kind of thing. So making wow. sure their goals align with mine as well is important because, like I said, I don't want to fight world beaters right now. I just need experience. You know, I'm up for challenging fights, of course, but I'm not trying to, you know, fight a cyborg or some, something yeah. like that. I'm not there yet. <laughs> and that being said, at the same time, you fought Valerie Loretta, who's only three in – three and one now but at the time she was so hyped up like she was supposed to be the next big thing that Mm -hmm. gratitude she gets that from her instagram and all that stuff so in your feather in your cap i'd say that that is actually a huge win like because of the hype behind her so um uh, so i just want to say that's uh, i was really amazed by the performance um it was awesome watching i I was rooting for you the whole time uh (laughs) was there a time in that fight i know you did get dropped was it a was there a time where you were like, okay, I'm really hurt or how was the recovery from that? Um, no, not as much that time, but, um, probably the first time I clenched up with her, um, just feeling like that she was pretty strong or and explosive mainly like exploding out of clinches, which I already knew she would do. But uh, just kind of seeing how she was and the fact that I wasn't really able to hold her on the wall as well um, kind of didn't surprise me that much. But it was just like, all right, I got to step my game up, like actually go for the double leg, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and it was hard to set up because, like I said, I wasn't letting my hands go. So my wrestling yeah. didn't look good because I wasn't able to set it up as well. But um but, yeah, I didn't think I was, like, in trouble at any point. It was just, yeah. like, I was hoping to, like, you know, keep performing really well. And every round I tried to perform better and better. So. Now, do you, before, like, I just got a couple more questions. Uh, do you feel that they're going to try and get a rematch with her just because of her name? They might. And I'm down. <laughs> You're down? Absolutely. Might as well take it. Yeah. Um, and you're, it was it was also awesome that you're on the main card too. That was, it got bumped up last minute, so you definitely showcased who you are more. Um, mm-hmm. Did that mean anything more to you that you got bumped to the main card? Yeah, it was just something to motivate me even more to do really well in the fight. And Absolutely, show, you know my skill. So. <laughs> And just the last couple things I seen on your Instagram that you're a band lifer. Do you live from the band? Yeah, I do. That's awesome because I, I, my neighbor, he's a, he's about, he's a little older. Uh, I go and have coffee with him and all that stuff. And he's a huge fan like person. So I have to give a shout out to Paul. Um, how's that experience? And do you know or watch, uh, Foresty Forest? Have you heard of him? Um, I haven't heard of him, but, um, but yeah, it's awesome. I just love like the minimalistic part of it. Or if I want to go somewhere for the weekend, like I still have my home with me, you know, it's just super cool. I've really enjoyed it. <laughs> you go on hikes and stuff too? Yeah, which I haven't been able to like explore as much because as probably a month or two after I first got the van, um, yeah. I drove it into a hurricane on accident. Oh, right. And I, I got into some water and it messed up some electrical stuff and it ended up being in the shop for about six months. And wow. so I just got it back like a few weeks before the fight and so that was uh, kind of exciting so i've been in it ever since then again it's been nice being back in my van for sure that's, you should definitely do a youtube channel yeah i've thought about it like once i'm able to do more exciting stuff in it but for now just casually staying in it <laughs> for sure and my last question for you before i let you go is when would you like to fight next and how fast would you like a turnaround yeah i mean I'd like to fight 
as soon as possible, you know. Um, like I said, I'm trying to get experience. You know, it's easier to stay in shape than get back in shape. So I'd rather just go ahead and have yeah. another fight pretty soon. And it always helps the nerves and stuff like that as well. So hopefully my striking will look better if the nerves are down a little bit more, you know. So For sure. And I'll definitely be watching your next fight. Is there anything you want to shout out before I let you go today? Uh, yeah, just my family and friends and, you know, all the encouraging messages I've gotten from just fans and then my sponsors um you know i'm under first round management um but also uh i'm doing like a giveaway right now with millions.co which is one of my sponsors um for the dustin poirier conor mcgregor fight pays for your tickets and flights and all that stuff so you can go on my page to check that out um and then um my other sponsors incognito investigations supersonic car wash brick chiropractic um, your fresh tech, sheath underwear. Um, That'll be one more. <laughs> team. Um, yeah, all those. And you can check out all my pages, Hannah Guy MMA on pretty much everything. So. Perfect. Well, I really uh, appreciate you being on the show today, and I can't wait to see you kick ass again. Yeah. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time.